The Convair YB-60 was an American experimental jet-powered strategic bomber developed in the early 1950s by Convair as a proposed successor to the piston engine B-36 Peacemaker. It was part of the United States Air Force's effort to transition to an all-jet bomber fleet during the early Cold War. The YB-60 was essentially a modified B-36F, redesigned with swept wings and eight turbojet engines to achieve higher speed and altitude capabilities. The project began in 1950, when Convair proposed a jet-powered derivative of the B-36. The Air Force approved the conversion of two B-36Fs, serial numbers 49-2676 and 49-2684, into prototypes. Originally designated B-36G, the aircraft was soon redesignated YB-60 due to its extensive changes. Although 72% of its components were shared with the B-36, the YB-60 featured a narrower, streamlined fuselage, new swept wings with a 35-degree sweep, and swept tail surfaces. The wingspan was reduced to 62.8 meters, and wing area increased to 475 square meters. The YB-60 was powered by eight Pratt & Whitney J57 P3 turbojets arranged in four twin-engine pods under the wings, mirroring the configuration of the competing Boeing B-52. Performance goals included a top speed of 880 kilometers per hour and a service ceiling of 16,700 meters. Defensive armament was minimal, only one remote-controlled twin-gun tail turret with radar sighting. The first YB-60, 492676, made its maiden flight on April 18, 1952, just three days after the YB-52's first flight. However, testing quickly revealed deficiencies. The YB-60 was about 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, slower than the B-52, had poor handling due to its legacy airframe, and lacked growth potential. Despite a larger bomb load of 72,000 pounds compared to the B-52's 43,000 pounds at the time, its performance fell short of expectations. Flight testing of the YB-60 continued until January 20, 1953, totaling 66 hours. A second prototype, 49-2684, was completed with full mission equipment but never flew. The USAF chose the B-52 for full development, citing its superior speed, range, handling, and future upgrade potential. Both YB-60 prototypes were scrapped by July 1954. The program cost $14.3 million. Convair proposed an airliner variant, but its weight and size made it impractical compared to Boeing's 707, leading Convair to develop the smaller 880 series instead. The YB-60 remains a significant example of Cold War innovation, highlighting the transition from piston to jet bombers and the challenges of adapting existing designs to meet the demands of modern aerial warfare. Though unsuccessful, it contributed to the USAF's understanding of jet bomber design and strategic aviation during a pivotal era.